A helicopter with refugees inside, landing on a football field. Isn't that incredible? This was a common sight at South Fort Myers High School in the days following Hurricane Ian. They were pulling people off the island. Some of the people had nothing, literally not even shoes. I mean, it literally looked like they were on a shipwreck. And when you saw the EMTs uh, bring the people in, you know, they, they sort of had that, you know, thousand yard stare. They just couldn't believe what had happened. South was one of several Lee County schools that served as an emergency shelter before, during, and after the storm. These are uh, hot water showers that were brought in by FEMA. We are a taxpayer service. You have the building, you have the ability to help people, why not help them? At the peak, South sheltered roughly 1,000 people with help from FEMA, the American Red Cross, local government agencies, and emergency personnel from around the state. Essentially, we're holding down the shelters, making sure that the people who need to go to the hospital go to the hospital and the people who don't stay here, uh, giving lots of people with anxiety hugs, you know, making sure they're okay because they have nowhere to go. Everyone here in these shelters has lost their home. One of those people, one of South Fort Myers High's very own students, senior Jeshua Lau Hing. This is my dog. Her name is Kanoa. She's so cute, but she's so dramatic. He sought shelter at the school after the roof of his home collapsed. It's been a really um, habitable experience with Mr. Matthews, you know, making sure everyone has their necessities and what they need and make sure they're, they're feeling comfortable here. We have food, you know, drinks, water, shower, porta potties, and, you know, cots, blankets, and pillows, and much more. Donations of water and clothing also poured into the school. Then we have some food donations over there. We have some hygiene. We have towels, sheets. We help children every day. You know, we help their families. We're here to serve the community. Most people get an education because they want to make a difference. And you're truly making a difference when you're helping those in need in a, in a life-changing situation like Hurricane Ian. And to see individuals that have been literally rescued and brought here and being able to feed them, put a blanket over them, provide a hot shower, it, it truly warms the heart and it really fills your bucket as to, why, as to what you do and why you do it every day. I certainly don't want to wish destruction on the community, but we're, we are eager to serve again if need be.